Hey guys, welcome to Out There Interview Season 2. I'm your host, Super Hype, and you know how we do it on this platform each and every time where we feature, highlight, and put the spotlight on Trinidad artists, young and old, newcomers, and the ones who've been here from since inception. Today, I'm featuring an artist who could also fall under the, the, the name, the banner of being a creative. His musical veins don't only limit him to dancehall, but to many other genres of music. Today, joining me on the panel today is Rion. What going bad, bro? I'm going on, brother. Everything cool? I'm blessed already. Yeah, Everything man. Bro. So we just see Mike. Who is Rion for the people who may not know you? I mean, Rion Elbond is a, a creative person and somebody yeah. who does, you know, I love I love all the arts. You know, I love music, love entertainment, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. simple, humble youth, born in Kelly Village, mm -hmm. Karani, you know, come up the road in the west side and yeah. see all the entertainment thing go on, you know? Just insert myself in the music and try to spread my ideas on them and, you know, see the people and them receive it. How was life growing up in Kelly? Life in Kelly, life in Kelly was, you know, a simple life, mm -hmm. you know. Get up, go to school, mm. come back home, play a little football thing, but it wasn't, um, after a while it wasn't, the pace was a little too slow for, mm. for somebody like me. Yeah. Yeah. So after I'm um, going like secondary school and thing, I learned yeah. a secondary comprehensive, well, bigger for yourself. Yeah. And um, I left there and I met guys doing music there. Karen yeah. Lemesi, Kyle O'Neill, Jeffrey. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we started a little group from there, which was Sinex. Nice. And we used to, after school, go and start to record them. This was more rap. And yeah. when you're talking about the genres of music, rap, R&B, and all them kind of stuff. Yeah. But come up on the west side and forward it still, but that's doing my thing now. So you left, no, you didn't leave Kelly Village all that time. You're still living in Kelly, but you're up in the West more. I was up in the West a lot more, maybe yeah. at around, I left school at around 16, 45. Yeah. So six, yes, yeah. So I was up there 16, 17, 18. And then a little unfortunate circumstance happened in Kelly, you know? Mm. Uh, um, when my mom and them flew out and all as well, mm. I was living there by myself. Yeah. Uh, but I was up in Canada the other day when I got a call and a boy said, hey, you know, people break in your place, they take your things, your computer, your hard drive, your music, yeah, yeah, yeah. your gas tank. But <laughs> 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 well, how he know what to take from in the house? <laughs> yeah, well, you ain't going to that part of you know what I'm saying? You going to that part of you know where you go. Yeah. yeah, so at that point in time, was a more of a rebuilding for me and, and okay. myself, even within being an artist, because I would have lost a lot of work yeah you know what i mean and but at the end of the day that's teach my growth you know okay. i'm not really let them pull me down like oh motel was the car yeah yeah, and yeah come yeah, back yeah. and you buy next yeah, car yeah. Yeah, right they take my things i yeah. save up i work hard and i always like the aspect of showing people listen when you work hard for something work hard for your money and invest in yourself build your craft because when i started doing music with cassie and them Mm -hmm. Cassie Foster and Robin Foster and them on, mm -hmm. on visual arts, 2005 mm -hmm. and them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand it. I'm from Kelly Village. I know how to try a line and pull fish, climb yeah. Chenetri and them thing. <laughs> climb like watching these programs and them, bro. And like, blew your mind. It blew my mind. I didn't know how, but mm -hmm. I could not afford to pay to get it done. Yeah, yeah. So I sit down for years. Years after years after years. And I learned it and I started to produce. Right. And I started to write songs and then I would not be writing songs before when I now started people was helping me write and that kind of thing. Now I okay. write songs for me, I write songs for people, yeah. I produce music, I try, I try a little thing with the beats and then as well. And well you know I do camera work and audio okay. work and then as well. So I try to have a little vision for a video where it might go and then how we go and market it after that because coming up through them timings where some of the little youths on them right now, respect mm. to all of them who working hard. Yeah. But that is, is always had to remind them that it's not just music, mm. it's a music business. Sure. Right? And it take, it take me a period of time to understand it is not just music. I come out every day I'm just doing music, yeah, you know, yeah. but I'm not studying the, the business, business behind it, yeah. right? So fast forward a little bit, when I would have really make a change and come out of Sinex, I was working Stanmore Avenue. Yeah, Stanmore right Avenue, right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Shirt and tie, ball head, yeah, yeah, soft yeah, yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I, got, I, got arrested, I got arrested a day after coming home from work. I get real frustrated in work, uh, supervisor situation thing, eh? <laughs> I'm going into all of that. <laughs> but you know me the next day my birthday. No, so, bro, that's not. <laughs> you got arrested after work for something you did on work? No. Or just arrested separate? The frustration get to me. Yeah, yeah. When, when that situation takes place in work and I don't want to act out and yeah. be the 
Yeah, the, the, the only one. Yeah. Yes, nah, but, you know? only one. And the next day was my birthday, so I said, well, you know what? I ain't going to work tomorrow. I ain't going back and deal with that yeah. kind of madness. I go stay home, cool, take man. my little smoke and thing. You know, yeah. they come and I like, you know, I could talk about that out here. Yeah. Right? Stay home, take my little smoke, relax and record some music. That is my vibe. Yeah, that way into. But it wasn't the coming alive at the point in time. So when I live in Maloney at that point in time. Okay. And you know, I went and got my things, undisclosed location, yeah. passed through an next undisclosed location. And when I reach inside, it's like a big raid now, boy. And like as I pass through, I kind of get through two, three of the police and the most search man thing normal. Yeah. And I come out in the car park one time, bam, I got locked up. And that was like the Thursday. Right. And then the Friday, while waiting for the van and them to reach, no van, no court. So it's Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday and on two of my birthday, everything on the inside. And when I come back out, my, my, my then girlfriend at the time yeah. organized deed and thing and whatever and get station bill for me yeah. on a Sunday. Okay. As <laughs> so I said, yeah. just to go to court Monday, Monday. but just to pull me out now yeah, and I'm going to go man keep... bed and then I'm going to bed and all kind of real mad yeah, 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 yeah. And when I come out of that situation, bro, I say, you see this? I'm not going back in that job, you know. Mm. What I love to do, I go and find a way to do it. I gain X amount of knowledge towards it already. Mm. I can't build people companies for them. I rather yeah. build myself and or, or build a company where I could help other people. Nice. That's when I kind of stay away from the sign next thing a little bit. Working well, with everybody is saying, yeah, you know, cool. but I am Ray on cool. Elborn. Yeah. Let me come out here, let me explore my different genres of music. I will do rap, soca, dancehall, conscious, chutney, R&B, mm. give me a chance, anything. If I like the instrumental, I try my hand at it. Okay. Yeah. Really nice. A lot of things in now on there, boy. No, so it go. Yeah. Real life. So when did, well, I know Cyanex used to focus on a lot on R&B and, and hip-hop. When mm -hmm. did you decide to narrow or, or, or focus on dance or music? Right, I'm going to get a little bit about myself with that is concerned, so yeah. you understand. Coming from Kelly Village, I come from a real multicultural environment. Right. Indian, African, Hindu, Muslim, everything, yeah, like yeah. real mix-up. You go so you can eat pork, you go so you can eat beef, you all kind of madness. Yeah, yeah right, like, right, right. <laughs> man, I hear all kind of music in my head every day. So right. to me, in a sense, I was real always open to different types of music. Cool. That way it wasn't nothing to start with the rap that was trending at the point in time, 50 Cent, Eminem, Jarul, all them thing back in the day, and then yeah. we were done cooped up on that, because I would have feed me on the radio. Bam, we go and try and recreate that in my own way. Sinex actually stands for create your next expression. Okay. Right? See why your next is create the next expression. However, you feel to create, you no just crime. create, no judgment. Yeah. But I always like conscious music. And I always like reggae music and I always like music that come from Jamaica. <laughs> it's what I tell them. <laughs> Listen, my favorite artist in the whole world yeah. are DJ Palmer, Five Scatter. Five Scatter, right. right? I like where you come from, where you represent, and how you still turn yourself into a trend in something time and time again and mm -hmm. keep recreating his keep brand recreating. and that kind of thing. Yeah. He's a poet when it comes down to it and you could put him on anything. He sing an English thing, be a big girl. Yeah, you know? yeah. Love that I mean? song. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he just switch it up so many times and as a creative, that's what I just aspire to be. Yeah. As I just always say, every day I have a song in it. You know? It has 365 and a quarter songs for you to get from me. Yeah. Every year, I supposed to give you a song every day. But I can't go man sing about the interview I had and how it make me feel. And yeah. then you know, I get to you to rise up and thing and yeah. just start to recreate. You understand? So yeah, when I step away from Sinex, that is when I decided, you know what? What some of the guys in in in, in Sinex maybe right I'd be afraid to do? Mm. I go and do it. Yeah. I already exposed to that since I was small. Since I will sing small, a chutney yeah. and the next man wouldn't sing a chutney because he might feel people will laugh yeah, at him. Yeah, yeah. No, I sing on it. I sing it yeah. Put the dad in the pot and turn it up and thing up and whatever. <laughs> thing. Put yeah, the dad in the pot come up in my head when the vibe is there. So mm. I'm more zoning into the conscious side of the music a little bit and the dance all. And, you know, now the lad dance all with Trinidad. Yeah. Trinidad. Trinidad. You understand? Yeah. And we're taking it to the world. Yeah. I'm glad to see that over such a period of time uh, we achieve something still and yeah. in the process of achieving yeah. more all right so maybe that's what i was there let me go back to that hip-hop wave what makes because you are part of that mm -hmm. and you're also part of the trinidad movement right mm -hmm. now what makes the trinidad movement different to that hip-hop wave movement i mean gotta look at where you come from bro mm -hmm. yeah 
You could brainwash me, you know, and hit me all that rap in my head. <laughs> At the end of the day, me not having any Gucci, and any Versace, and any Prada, and mm. me driving around in limousine, and me popping champagne every night, well, sometimes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes, all the time. <laughs> you know, the, and, you know, and even how they talk, and how they think. Yeah, it's not we. And the water, and the thing, <laughs> <laughs> whipping, and, you know what I mean? It don't really relate. And then, when the dance all wave come into play now, it was a little more relatable, you understand mm. what I'm saying? So that would be a part of maybe why it didn't catch on as much. People wasn't hyped about the hip hop wave yeah. that was passing. We had our circle. Yeah, yeah, that circle. Young Rod, Mark Hardy, yeah. Jimmy October, Jay Naj, yeah, yeah, yeah. men from South, Chromatics, and Chromatics, we had yeah. a nice little movement, and we had a time that I guess would have teach us how to throw shows for ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, as we would advance it now, a show ain't gonna be like what it used to be five years ago. True. But I would have teach us to come together as artists who in a genre of music and have those types of events for who interested, because nobody was doing it for us. True. Yes, I'm saying. So yeah. it's all a learning process. Mm-hmm. I guess though. It's all about evolution. So if the hip hop ain't working and the dance all is taking a certain direction, as an artist, you should be able to move with the music. Flex, yeah. You have to be able to flex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're an artist. If Chris Gas, yeah, give me someone a dance all taking it to the yeah. come good. You're not surprised. I, I would I wouldn't be surprised because he's an artist. Uh-uh. How he do whatever he do, well, we are you to see. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's not what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. But but as an artist you're supposed to be able to adapt. Yeah. You understand? Facts. So I guess it's a bit of adapting. And what would make the dance all stronger right now is that they say one link is one link. It's one link. As much as people out there just feel it's a this and a that with this person and them warring and them thing and whatever, bro. Mm. I could tell you from the creatives that I just be around. I'm calling no names, but bro, we just on music. Yeah, you on music. When them feel a man sing this gun tune and that gun tune and killing man in the street and all kind of thing, no, bro. <laughs> no, uh, bro, bro. Far from that. <laughs> bro, we in the studio. Every night I'm still killing. <laughs> we killing the mic. <laughs> with our next gun man tune. Just a chance. Generate yeah. a little Hype. excitement. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe to express how we feel, because everybody has things in them. Where yeah. are man go out in the street and really bust the gun, or you yeah. just sing it and express it and get it out. Yeah, yeah. That's why we just talk about balance too. Balance, yeah. yeah. And balance is ICS. What do you think is your role in the Chuny Bad movement? My role? Yeah. If you had to get yourself a role, what, what, is, what, what, what my music is about? What is Rion about? No, that's the thing. I do, I, you know, I just hope I play in our role. Yeah. I hope people yeah, yeah. seeing yeah. what I do doing, doing, yeah. and saying, listen, I don't mind trying some of them avenues he's trying mm-hmm. to make a money for myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or try to push myself further or try to make something better for my family. Right? So my role in this movement is just really to be myself. Yes, to sir. be myself. I'm not trying to be anybody. I don't think I don't think anybody better than anybody. Mm. I think everybody different. True. Yes, and Piggy and Tupac. Who was better? Two give me that argument. No, I swear. Both of them <laughs> was, was good. But do I say this? Do I say this? Do both, I say of, that? both of them different. Carter yeah. and Mavado, who better? Yeah. They're not better. Yeah. They're different in their own ways. And they're good. Both what of them you like from yeah. them. Yeah. If you like X artists, like X artists. Why artists? Like Y artists. And you know why you like the both of them. If mm. you choose to like a Rihanna Elborn tune, yeah, I don't know. I respect yeah. you. I, you know, I point it out there to connect with you. Let me talk about that song that I close to my heart. Build my dreams. Build your dreams. Build yeah. my dreams. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you how you say it. Build my dreams. Build my dreams. Yeah, yes. because yeah. when you say it, what you say? It? Yeah, build my dreams. It's yeah. for you. Yeah, that's right. Build my dreams. Let's talk about that song. How that song came to you? How you put together this song? And what's the um, story behind this song? Similar story, you know. Mm-hmm. Basically, I work with a team of people at that point in time, mm-hmm. and I say, well. I was feeling down. I was feeling really down. <laughs> this man is killing you know, me. I was like, feeling feels... down, dog. I was feeling down now. I was feeling like, oh, how much years I doing this music thing and fighting up and the radio ain't want to play the thing and I find the unit and moving like a unit and and I was feeling, I was feeling like I just want to get my money and build my dreams. I yeah. want to represent my city, my place where I come from. I want to help fix the place. Put some money in my hand and see why I do it now. Yeah. All the primary school in Kelly Village and thing will get cricket, but. Football, mm. thing to sow with, thing mm. to plant, 
thing to expand your mind more than just the normal school books. Yeah. That is academics, yes, but all of us not make for the academics. True. And if we don't change that system, so put, put some money in my hand and see what I could do with it. But that's why I was feeling. I was feeling like I want to do all these things. Everybody want more money, but enough of them now go and work hard for it. You want bread on them. You talk yeah. about star money, house and land and car money. Were you studying at all? No, that's just when night time come. No, bro, you're looking for four or five million to get a house. Yeah. You understand? And then we had to flip some and that to come back and get the cars and the thing and make sure mommy all right first. Mm. That's how we, we know it from the generation where we come from. Where we come from, a facts. A lot of them on the hype and we don't deal with the hype. So. Yeah. Not super hype, but that's a whole next hype. I, I really like <laughs> Right? But the magic in it for me would mm. build my dreams. Mm. I was living in Carnage at that point in time. Right. Smoking a long time, my man didn't know they criminalize it. I'm going to get my little herbs. Yes. When I'm going to get the herbs, now I pull up by the savannah and I realize football on the field, football in the basketball court, people selling press, pony, cheering on them outside in the night. Mm. I said, But I didn't even know nothing happening out there. Call up my virgin moose. I said, Moose, come down and check more. Yeah, I'll come to you, I'll take a little line. I said, Bring the camera, bring the jordan, we go shoot some one time. He said, Word. Come down to shoot the video, and I was never going to shoot Bill My Dreams, you know. I was going to shoot my life. And I set up the cameras, and we set up the audio, and the song playing and thing. And the second he go to roll, something in my head that say, forget that, shoot Bill My Dreams. And then I just changed the song from my phone on the Bluetooth, and it changed. And it was spontaneous, so yeah. he didn't mind switching the idea of yeah. the song. And that the song would take me up there. See, that's why? Million views on them thing there. <laughs> Mind you. Team I work with at the point in time, I record a song for myself. Mm. You understand? Mm. Can't afford it. I could not pay a boy to build a beat for me neither. Yeah. I find the beat on YouTube. Yeah. The first beat I find I went with, I type in Rihanna, type instrumental. <laughs> you know, uh, every, everybody I, have a type of instrumental. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, want to lash up thing for that. <laughs> thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Type of Rihanna, type instrumental, encore beats pop up, thing yeah. or whatever. And I, I record the song, I mix the song, I master the song, shoot the video, and that's why sometimes too, all the plan you just plan for all the ghetto you tell them all day. Mm. Sometimes you can plan for 10, 15 years, and it didn't work out, and quarter have a plan for you down yeah, in the end somewhere. Yeah, fact. So sometimes you can think up how much you want. It's God plan where really going and work out in the end, you know. Look mm. at that, I could have bust with a lash up tune, mm. and they could have said, he's evil rasta, and I think I'm <laughs> I have real badness music. Yeah, yeah. We know, we know. real music tune, on the way. I have real gun tune what ain't released yet. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know how they go take it, however, even though I just express it myself. Yeah. You know, we would hope that the general public mature enough to understand that we are artists. Mm. And we don't get up happy every day. Mm. And we don't get up sad every day. And True. we have different emotions we just go through. True. You know what I mean? So if ladies so could say, stab out the meat and then come and sing a gospel after. You realize as a human being you're dealing with. Right. There's different ways of expressing yourself when it comes to how they feel. You understand? So we say balance. Balance. Balance, so is, balance. The, is the fair thing right now. And that's what we're pushing for. Shaky. <laughs> that's what we're pushing for. Yeah. So um you recently did work with class too, first class. Yeah. With Evil Astrid. Mm -hmm. Um I think I saw some pictures that you recorded outside. Where you record this song. You tell us where you record that song. I record that Intelligent Talks. I record that by class. In class, in studio? studio, in studio. Oh, I see some pictures like you. Because nah, I was that my process. And I, I stopped store or something. I, I, nah, oh, uh -huh. nah, camera. But my process. <laughs> what? I can't remember. I'll be all over the place. Yeah, you record it. I see you like a setup in that store. Record him. Nah, I'm gonna record a song, a song in that store. Oh, I yeah, I record a thing in that store. That my member Jen and Kelly. Because okay. Because the old money house too one time. I don't know Kelly Bellis she piano. Right, right, cool. But yeah, um. My process is be a little weird sometimes when it comes to the music. Sometimes, most times these days, I would just approach the mic with the idea that I have and then steadily build on the idea. I'm not going to get the whole song in three minutes. Bam, and the song done. Okay. I would approach the beat and the mic with the idea and I might start to say one, two things and then start to add and build and add and build. Mind you, in about a two hours' time, I would have the whole song. <laughs> a two hours' time. But I had yeah. that dry goods, wet goods, and things like that. Yeah, I had the raw products and everything. And then start to, you know, refine it until I come out with the, the Coca-Cola in the bottle ready to sell and ship. Yeah, we don't look at it. It's yeah. business. So, uh, let me say it takes you roughly about four hours to put together a track. Yeah, definitely, okay. yeah. Roughly around that. If pushed, I will do it faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's necessary, especially if it's a job, mm. 
I look at it as a job all the time. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes you're able to have a little more fun with it. Sometimes mm. it's a little bit more serious. Serious, yeah. You know, and sometimes you need to know how to flip into these moods one time. I was about to ask because you that. Because it's not just about a, it's not less like if it's a dance. Yeah, yeah. As a party in a club or wherever, this is our environment now where you are around different creatives at different points in time. Mm. And not everybody does function the same way. True. When I function in my studio, everybody know the thing. Yeah. Cool. I need two three producers there with me one time. They mm. let me start to piece up this idea and we run it down the line. By the time I done say my last word, my thing's supposed to be sung and mixed and mastered. Yeah. It's tweaking yeah. five minutes after that. <laughs> yeah, 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 tweaking yeah. and let me go with my tune email. Let me one time and <laughs> <I> think <laughs> thing one time. <laughs> Yes, I say, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't it, that's how I go work there. Yeah. I might go by somebody else and they might just want to smoke all day. Yeah, until that vibe come. I might have to push the process to make it happen faster. Mm. I might go by somebody else and they want to work faster than I accustom working. I can't, fo- I can't blame you for that. Yeah, yeah. You might be a producer on that speed. You might already know what you want, man, like Isaac Cozier. Yeah. I remember, bro, top, 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 real top. story, that area code with him. Yeah. Bro, Cozy send me, Cozy send me. This area code with him, and I ball. Yeah. I run up in the studio I one time. Bad, I said, fellas, I had thing for this. And I started to sing a set of girl thing on you with them. And I sing a whole girl song on you with them. And I love it off. It's rude, it's sexy, the girls like it. Whoever mm. pass you in the meantime, they'll hear yeah, it and thing. Mm. I was like, there's the tune for this with them, you know? Cozy said. And bro, <laughs> jump in my car. Then I'm a thing song and mix and master. Yeah. Jump in my car, drive down the road and go and meet Cozy in Poetry Studios. Mm. Cozy play. Yeah, I tell you, eh? Yeah, who saw you with them before, yeah? No, no, who song? Uh, when I tell him I done with the song, thing, the thing, or whatever, yeah. Cozy play about 10 seconds of my song before telling me, nah. That one word, nah. <laughs> After a whole day of me doing my <laughs> thing. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, no, yeah, yes. Now you say, nah, you say that ain't gonna work. That's not gonna work. That yeah. is not the idea. That's not the idea. That is yeah. not the idea. It's not the song bad or anything. No, it's just not the idea. But then communication and like, that next boy could have watched like, boy, I think I'm a thing. You know what I mean? Me watch it like that. Mm. I say, so, what do you mean, Cozy? <laughs> yeah. Cozy say, bro, and we talk as two man. He said, sorry, I didn't send any write up of what I want the direction of it to be. Mm. And when he sent me the direction of everybody representing the area they come from right. and doing a song based on that, it was a whole long write up for them. They did it professional. They were coming back to the point of sometimes a producer does work differently than you just work. Yeah, yeah. When he tell me that that very night, I record the whole of endurance one time. It like I spent 24 hours just recording yeah, yeah. on that one same rhythm, two songs. I never bust this first song. Yeah. I do it the way he wanted, and endurance and all actually going, reaching up in the views there right now. Yeah. And I appreciate that. This is reaching back to the point of saying that sometimes you have to adjust another man's workspace yeah. and what he might want. And all of that is part of the business. Yeah, that's yes. part and of you need too. to be able to adjust and fit yourself in where it's necessary. Yeah, and definitely, well. if it's not for you, stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, feel free to tell the viewers how to get onto some of your new music, how to find you on social media too as well. You can find me on social media, Rian Elbon. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? On Instagram. YouTube typing Rian Elbon, yeah. Facebook Rian Elbon. And next thing to I never really changed my name. <laughs> <laughs> Why though? How come? How come you don't have a super key? If you work in a bank mm. as super high? S- as super, <laughs> nah, super Mali. And they say, mm. wait now, Super Mali, by chance you related to the Mali, it's like Bob Mali. And, mm. and, it, and it was real and it, and it was able to say, yeah, he's my. Grandfather, or he's my great grandfather. Oh, okay, that's where you're coming from. You might not even get blessed up, but you might just get service with a smile. Mm. It's a generational something. Yeah, when Lil Wayne or, or Birdman, child or something, <laughs> or going grandson. How you going to know? How you, grandson, how you going yeah. to know who he is? Yeah, 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 you understand yeah, yeah. what I mean? He's leaving a legacy. I have to leave a legacy at the end of the day when i dead and gone. And you call my last name, and my children have my last name. Them posts that get you off of that, boy. Yeah. I bill in that when I dead, let them get you still off of my name because I trying to be my best to be a good person yeah. out here yeah? and just create a legacy so that they could live off of it. So all the bosses, all the T-mans, all the C-mans, all the P-mans, all the S-mans. I big up to know them. Know what they're doing. No, big up to them. Each, yeah. each is own. Yeah, each is own. Each is own. I is just, I is real Elborn. Yeah. I is not Lil Elborn and... <laughs> <laughs> Your boy super hype signing out guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Audi TV on YouTube and follow the Instagram page Audi TV, alright? 
Keep a lock right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Ode Interviews was produced by Ode TV, which is a subsidiary of Super Hype Productions.